And now wrestling fans from Turner's Hall, Cleveland, Ohio, it just doesn't get any better than this. Cleveland All Pro Wrestling proudly presents our CAPW 13 year anniversary spectacular giant main event. Your referee will be Bobby Potter. And it will be the three man 30 minute Iron Man match for the Cleveland All Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. The rules are simply the wrestler who scores the most winning falls within the allotted 30 minutes will win the event. Introducing challenger number one. He is the current Ring of Honor World Champion from Aberdeen, Washington. Weighing 185 pounds, he is the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. The current reigning Ring of Honor Heavyweight Champion, right here in Cleveland All Pro Wrestling on Sports Time Ohio, set to attempt to go the distance, 30 minute triple threat Iron Man matchup for the CAPW Heavyweight Championship is forthcoming. That's right, Joe Dombrowski, the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship, a very prestigious title here in our industry of professional wrestling. However, he's here at Turner's Hall. He is here at Cleveland All Pro Wrestling. And our champion, Claudio Castagnoli, is gonna have a thing or two to say about who's winning Introducing this Introducing challenger number two. He is currently one half of the NWA TNA Tag Team Champions from the City of Angels. Weight 210 pounds. He is the Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. Whether it's Tag Team Gold in TNA, X Division Gold in TNA, championships in Ring of Honor and into Japan and all over the world, very few men have been more successful and prolific than this man right here, the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, God's gift to professional wrestling. Joe Dombrowski, he is God's gift to professional wrestling, pound for pound, one of the best in the business today. He's going to have his work cut out for him because Cleveland All Pro Wrestling has lined up not one, not two, but three of the best wrestlers out there in the world today for this matchup. And you fans are going to get to see it right here on Sports Time Ohio. Regardless of what happens in this matchup, it will go the 30 minute distance. Most falls in a half hour. We are guaranteed a classic just moments away. And these are two of the three components. All we're awaiting now is, of course, the Cleveland All-Pro Wrestling Champion, an internationally known star in his own right as we take a look at Daniels. Now, let's bring to the ring the defending CAPW Heavyweight Champion from the United Banks of Switzerland, weighing 235 pounds, Claudio Castagnoli! So with his trademark swagger, Double C Claudio Castagnoli does not seem to be sweating the obstacles that are put forth in front of him tonight. Claudio Castagnoli, the Cleveland All-Pro Wrestling Champion, he exudes confidence. He is a confident professional in the ring. He can take it to the, to the streets and he can brawl you. He can scientific style high fly Joe Dombrowski. He is the complete package here in CAPW. Claudio's got the size advantage. Will he have the skill advantage against the American Dragon Brian Danielson and the fallen angel Christopher Daniels? We are set for a true Matt Classic here on Sports Time Ohio with CAPW goal on the line. Quick commercial break. When we come back, this triple threat matchup will begin.
Joe Dombrowski alongside Jamie Scott here to bring you a match that's going to be so special. A special contest to celebrate 13 years of Cleveland All Pro Wrestling in existence. The man in the ring right now with the blue and yellow tights is the CAPW heavyweight champion Claudio Castagnoli. The man whose hand he just shook the fallen angel Christopher Daniels. One half of the TNA NWA World Tag Team Champions. And also the man in red, the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. This is a three-way dance, a 30-minute Iron Man match. Whoever scores the most decisions, whether it be pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countout, within the next 30 minutes, will leave Turner's Hall with the belt tonight. Joe Dombrowski, this matchup right here reads like a who's who in professional wrestling today. Cleveland All-Pro Wrestling setting the bar higher than everybody else with their main event here. We've got three belt holders in the ring, but the only one officially recognized right now is Claudio's as Danielson attempts a quick roll-up. And obviously the name of the game is to score as many falls as possible, as is being evidenced by these three going back and forth early on with these backslides. But how hard is it going to be to not only keep your opponent down for three seconds, but keep the third guy away from interrupting. Each one of these guys is going to need back, eyes in the back of their head, Joe Dombrowski, to watch out for that third man in the ring. And I'm not talking about Bobby Potter, that's for sure. Absolutely right. Well, we saw the opening exchange between Daniels, Castagnoli, and Danielson. And clearly, no man got the upper hand. No man got the definitive, definitive advantage in that opening exchange but with still 29 minutes or so to go, we got a long way to go to prove who the man is. Right now you see Daniels and Danielson both double teaming the champ, and that's a smart move right now because both of these men want that Cleveland All Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship belt. And American Dragon waited for the first opportunity for Christopher Daniels to turn his eyes away from the situation and pounced and also pounced on Claudio when he attempted to capitalize with a cover. American Dragon driving that knee right in the back of the back of the neck of Claudio, leaving him wide open for the attack of the Fallen Angel. Well, this is going to be a matchup full of counter wrestling. We're going to see a lot of offense dished out. We're also going to see a lot of defense as well, as each man has to try to stay on top of things. And wait a second, quick roll up attempt by Daniels. Claudio now on top as well. Daniels caught Brian Danielson with one heck of a shot there. Full Nelson by the Dragon. Trying to take advantage there. Oh, and how about those chops? Each man is going to have to keep their eyes somehow on both opponents at all times. To avoid back jumping, to avoid any type of sneak attack, they're going to need to have the proverbial eyes in the back of their head as now Daniels takes the American Dragon down with the arm drag, and the Fallen Angel sent right into the double C. Monkey Flip lands on his feet. Monkey Flip to Danielson. He lands on his feet. Monkey Flip to the Fallen Angel. He lands on his feet. I don't know if I've ever seen an opening exchange as evenly matched and competitive as this. Listen to that applause there for these three men. The fans here at Turner's Hall today, they know what they're seeing is world-class wrestling. The best wrestling the Cleveland All-Pro can put out there for only the fans of Cleveland, Ohio. And you fans on Sports Time Ohio are lucky enough to be witness to what could be history. That's respect right there. That's respect for the stars and athletes of Cleveland All-Pro Wrestling. It's not about a gimmick. It's not about a, a fictitious personality. It's not about dressing up and playing costume. This is about professional wrestling at its finest. Looks like Chris Daniels could be the odd man out here. Claudio and American Dragon Brian Daniels are trying to corner him. Looks like the Fallen Angel now. We talked about defensive wrestling. That's the predicament the Fallen Angel is back into. Hilk by Claudio, we're able to duck. And you see in this matchup that allegiances are very fleeting. You will not see an alliance in this matchup last more than a minute or two at most because they know what's on the line. The prize, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is the CAPW Championship. And Claudio fakes out both men with the feigned dive and hits both of them hard on the back. Claudio Castagnoli outsmarting his opponents and that's why he's the champ. Both Daniels and Danielson distracted the with each other. The time elapses five minutes. 
25 minutes remain. That allows Claudio to capitalize with the Pescado. Five minutes elapsed. No pinfalls as of yet. No decisions, I should say. As in this matchup, a submission countout or DQ works just as well. The champion, Claudio Castagnoli, making his way back in to face off with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. And that's what needs to be done. Quick cover. Claudio has the right strategy. You need to isolate one of your opponents with the other one far away and unable to interrupt. Claudio just had the first real pinning attempt at getting a decision in this matchup, but the American Dragon kicked out, and the Fallen Angel, right back on top of things, has the has the legs hooked to Claudio as Dragon follows through, snaps off a double arm overhead suplex. Chris Daniels holding the ankles there of Claudio Castagnoli, allowing Danielson an advantage. Nice leg Larry, it caught him right flush in the face. Right on the bridge of the nose, but a kick out by the Ring of Honor champion. The Fallen Angel obviously not gonna score any decisions easily. But you could say the same for anybody in this ring based on their recent accomplishments. And you saw right there, Daniels hits the suplex, but Claudio sneaks in for the cover, much to Daniels' chagrin. That's quick thinking there by Claudio. He knows that in a matchup such as this, any pinfall could be the, the winning pinfall because with the caliber of athletes you've got in the ring, it's hard to pin anybody's shoulders to the mat. Neck breaker by the Fallen Angel, but Dragon does not let him get the cover. Danielson get ahead, a neck breaker of his own on the Fallen Angel while Claudio tries to regroup in the corner. Ryan Danielson, a protege of the great Shawn Michaels, now going to work on our champ, Claudio Castagnoli. Ryan Danielson, already the Ring of Honor champion, heading into this one. And now he's looking to take Claudio's belt as well. Check this out, surfboard attempt here by Dragon. Claudio is about 6'4", about a good 250 or 60. Can he muscle the weight over top? Let's see. Can he have fourth revolution? He gets him over. And you can see the strain on Danielson's face as he pulled him back. That took a lot of effort from the Dragon as well. And just like that, the Fallen Angel interrupts. No submission allowed, says the Fallen Angel. Christopher Daniels, in fact, just saved Claudio's bacon right there because he saw the, the tremendous strain on his knees as well as his neck. Arch slam Daniels, follows through with the elbow. Another two count, says referee Bobby Potter. Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels going to work here on the Ring of Honor champ. Up and over he goes. Danielson leverages out. Pat O'Connor roll. Beautiful bridge, but Claudio was watching, waiting, and found his chance to interrupt. Shades of the great Bob Backlund there with that roll up. Beautiful drop kick gracefully done by Claudio. Notice he eliminates Daniels, but the Dragon one-ups him with a drop kick of his own. Drop kick caught him right flush, right on the face. Claudio appears that he could be injured after that one. And now the American Dragon has a chance to get a quick fall here. The Fallen Angel nowhere in sight it is drowned a Dragon and Claudio in the ring. I'm not sure if the American Dragon realizes it. Or perhaps he doesn't think he can beat Claudio yet. An athlete, the stature of Claudio Castagnoli, you're gonna have to wear him down quite a bit. And he's had just about all he's gonna take from Brian Danielson. Claudio turns things around, but doesn't notice Christopher Daniels right behind him. Forearm shots. Claudio sends Daniels right into an awaiting American Dragon who takes him down with the clothesline. There's an example of inadvertent double teaming, just convenience on the part of both men. That's right, spur of the moment. Opportunity is everything in this business. Brian Danielson just leveled Christopher Daniels. Single leg takedown by Dragon, but Claudio works his way back up to his feet. American Ryan Dragon. Daniels trying to hyperextend the elbow of Claudio Castagnoli. Exactly right, punishing that arm of Double C, the reigning champion. Keep in mind, no decisions yet as we approach the 10 minute mark of this 30 minute Iron Man match. Danielson trying to keep Claudio low to the ground, trying to cut off the vertical base, but a sunset flip by the Fallen Angel breaks the hold, albeit thanks to the ropes, does not constitute a legal pinfall. American Dragon, Brian Danielson wisely grabbed the ropes there. That could have been our first pinfall of this matchup, but as it stands right now, we're all tied at zeros. Very true, Claudio from behind. There's that example of having to 
to wrestle defensively and check out the hang time. Claudio has Daniels way, way up. The time elapsed is 10 minutes. 20 minutes remain. Is Claudio thinking of holding him up there for the rest of the 20 minutes? Well, I've seen Claudio. I've seen him go a full minute plus with somebody in the air like that. And with Daniels, that was a good 30 seconds at least as he attempts the cover. And what that move does, it's not just for show. All the blood rushes to the brain. Daniels becomes woozy. He starts losing consciousness. But thanks to the American Dragon, he was not pinned. Brian Danielson now going to task on the champion. Dropping that knee right on his eye. And now with a right cross, right to the bridge of the nose, as Danielson ups the aggression. With 10 minutes gone, no falls yet. All three men are realizing exactly what type of situation they're involved in. Christopher Daniels might have got a second win here after letting some of that blood out of his brain. Going to work on the Dragon, but the Dragon kicks him right in the chops. Roaring elbow countered. Standing Uranagi, and we know what that's the setup for. B-M-E, best food salt ever, but Danielson had it scouted. No water in the pool for the fallen angel. But check out Claudio here. Torture out position, drops him hard on his back. Cover, two and three. Claudio gets the Score first Score winning fall number one for Claudio Castagnoli. And how about the power of Claudio Castagnoli picking up all 210 pounds of the fallen angel. Dead weight on the mat, slamming him down. And our champion is up one nil nil on the challengers. Beautifully done at about the 12 minute mark. With about 18 to go, Claudio Castagnoli is up one fall to none over both adversaries. And Claudio, what could be a mistake in the long run, did not follow through on Daniels. Now he wants to cover Danielson. Cover, two and a kick out. Daniels was isolated and clearly hurt. As you can see, him still on the outside in pain. Claudio could have attempted to get another fall on the fallen angel, but it was not to be, as now he is controlling the, the American Dragon. Test of strength. Danielson bridging up to keep the shoulders off the canvas. And check out the, the quad strength. Right. Supporting 250 pounds on his quads. Count of two, and Danielson bridges up again. Brian Danielson just incredibly strong in all areas of his, of his being. Beautiful nice monkey fun. flip. Takes Claudio down. Danielson now asserts the advantage as the fallen angel still on the outside in pain thanks to that delayed suplex as well as that torture rack. That torture rack into the slam and Danielson unloads with some stiff, hard hitting European style uppercuts on the man from Switzerland. That's right. And Claudio Castagnoli says this is how we throw him in Europe and fires back with one of his own. Certainly does. Uppercut by the American Dragon. One finally takes down Double C. I don't know if either man notices Daniels working in the corner. Now he does. Fallen Angel wisely catching a breather. But Danielson cinching him up here. Daniels attempted comeback thwarted, but able to block an attempt at another vertical suplex. That's the last thing Daniels wants to feel at this stage of the game. Blocks the move a third time. Claudio in from behind. Double sledgehammer style blow to the back of the American Dragon, whoa. Claudio gonna attempt to suplex one more time, but if Daniels wouldn't let Dragon do it, he's sure as hell not gonna let Claudio do it. And there's a shot from behind by Brian Danielson, and Christopher Daniels will not be suplexed Well, here. Dragon and Claudio are too busy fighting amongst themselves to notice that this suplex just ain't happening. Daniels needs softened up more. But, and Claudio P push drops up. down. Showing his incredible endurance and power. Well, building up a little extra muscle to suplex him this time, I guess. And that's still not going to work. Daniels is still going to block it. Nothing doing the savvy ring veteran, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, the man with the most experience in the ring. He just refuses to be suplexed. And while all this is going on, Daniels has a precious few moments to get a breather. And again, this does not work. And frustration is starting to set in on the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels playing mind games with these guys right now. He could be luring them in for something, but look at this double team. Check it out, double suplex Daniels counters. 
Springs with a Cape Rana. Takes down Claudio. Two with the America Dragon quick the to interrupt. The time elapsed is 15 minutes. 15 minutes remain. Daniel starts to explode as we hit the halfway point. Bulldog close line combination. And the Fallen Angel starts to feel it. Takes him out. He's going to pin oh, Check this out. Daniels went for two covers. Now, would that count as two pinfalls, Joe? I believe it would. Chris Daniels trying to shoot right into the lead of this matchup, but nothing doing. That's why Chris Daniels has the intelligence he does. Very well thought out, but so tough to execute. Wait a second, check this out. Look out. Double slam, launches the Fallen Angel three quarters of the way across the ring. Big Lariat by the champ, and there's one by the Dragon. Pair of clotheslines connect. Dragon, the only man standing, goes to cover. Claudio could have had him, but Double C kicks out. American Dragon, his first time appearing here in Cleveland All Pro Wrestling, arguing with Bobby Potter. Didn't take him long to realize what we already know. Bobby Potter's clueless. Oh, stop that. But right now, this matchup turns even more defensive for Claudio Castagnoli than it was before. The clock is now the enemy of Dragon and Daniels. All Claudio has to do is withstand the remaining 12, 13 minutes without getting pinned and without letting a pin occur, and he's got this match won. Dragon, what's he going for? He's high as off the ropes. High risk by the Dragon. Beautiful diving headbutt. Shades of the Dynamite Kid. Cover, but Daniels pulls him away. Chris Daniels now putting the boots to the champ and down he goes to the hardwood floor. Daniels sets up Dragon now. Drops him with a back suplex. But Daniels can't afford to waste time here. The clock is rapidly running out. Daniels follows through with a quebrada. The Mexican style in ring moonsault only gets a count of two. Chris Daniels has got to be wondering right about now what it's going to take to hold the shoulders of the American Dragon down for three. Well, Daniels knew as Danielson wrenches the leg and knee joint of Daniels. Daniels knew, as did the other two, the high level of competition they were in the ring with before they stepped foot into this building. This Look, comes as no surprise. American Dragon taking a cheap shot, raking the eyes of the Fallen Angel. Cheap shot, but effective nevertheless. Continuing to go to work on that leg. Wrenches down in that knee one more time trying to isolate a weak point on Daniel's body to perhaps take advantage of in the later moments of this match. Look at this maneuver here by the, by the Dragon. He's got the legs of the Fallen Angel all tied up. Hard European uppercuts by Claudio. Dragon ducks. Claudio is German suplex for a count of two. Meanwhile, that bridge back by Danielson. It added extra torque on Daniel's knee. Look at and now it's a full-on submission stretching the entire body, the neck, the shoulder, as well as the leg. Joe Dombrowski, look at this maneuver being applied by the American Dragon. Tremendous. Well, I don't know if we've ever seen Christopher Daniels tap out anywhere in this world. The Fallen Angel able to reach the bottom ring cable. Smart move on the part of the Fallen Angel, but every second he's in that move, more damage is done to that knee. Chris Daniels writhing in pain right now. And American Dragon, I think this has got to be a mistake. Instead of keeping on the injured man, he's going over, taking it to Claudio. A hard series of slaps in a ring as Claudio and Danielson continue to get more and more physical as the American Dragon just digs into the eyes of the champion. Breaking away on the eyes. The Dragon really getting fierce in there. Wow. And you can hear the impact. The impact of Danielson's forearm on Claudio's upper body as he sets up for the double arm suplex again right in to the cross arm breaker but notice Claudio trying to clasp the arms together if Danielson cannot stretch out the arm the elbow will not become hyper extended and Claudio uses that great height advantage to get that toe into the bottom rope to break it. Joe Dabrowski he did not become the champion here at Cleveland All Pro Wrestling by mistake Claudio Castagnoli is the whole package wrestling ability as well as smarts Wisely got to the ropes and right, you are. And Danielson Angel down to the hardwood. Deposits the Fallen Angel to the outside. Once again, the Fallen Angel tastes the hard floor of Turner's Hall. And that leaves an opportunity for either Claudio or Danielson to capitalize and perhaps get a quick fall. 
The time elapses 20 minutes. 10 minutes remain. Claudia went for that torture rack slam, countered by the dragon into a dragon suplex. And now he sets up cattle mutilation, the signature submission move of the American Dragon. So many have tapped out, and Claudia. Score winning fall number one for the American Dragon. Brian Danielson! Claudio had no choice but to tap out. There was no escape from the cattle mutilation applied right in the center, center of the ring. Joe Dabrowski, I'm gonna tell you something, even though our champion just submitted there, I'm gonna give him credit where credit is due. He wisely submitted quickly. Instead of staying in that move and taking more abuse from the American Dragon, he knows that right now he is not behind in the game. He is still tied for the lead with one fall apiece. True, but he's certainly not ahead either. If this matchup ends now, it would end in a draw between uh, Danielson and Claudio. Presumably, Claudio would retain the title, however, so the championship advantage still, uh, still applies. German with a bridge, but a kick out, says Bobby Potter. Claudio Castagnoli show with tremendous resiliency there, trying to come back from that submission maneuver, the cattle mutilation that he just tapped out two moments ago. Chris Daniels is back in the ring, however, and he now the pressure's on him. He needs to stay in the game here. Now check out Daniels picking a spot. Knocks Claudio down with an insecurity kick. Followed after that jawbreaker. But Danielson right back up. Dragon with a whip. Sunset flip by the Fallen Angel. Look out. Oh, hold on. Handful of tights blatantly. But even that did not work. Danielson counter. And certainly uh, Danielson oblivious to that fact, but he's got to keep focus right here. He's one fall away from perhaps becoming CAPW heavyweight champion. Dumping the underneath backdrop attempt, Sunset flip. Oh, wait oh, a second. Lord. Oh, hold on, Joe. A second pull of the tights has even worse effects. Nobody wants to see that. And again, Danielson oblivious. Nobody. Oh, God. Well, I don't, I don't know what to say to that. We apologize to the network, but the match must go on. What is going on here? A near naked Brian Danielson taking it to the champ and just got pushed, shrugged off. Pushed off of the second rope. Danielson, funny or not, he's going for high risk here. He's going for everything. And I don't know if the Fallen Angel can believe what he's seeing either. Fallen Angel. Wisely keeping his distance, I don't blame him. Hold on. Fallen Angel interrupts. And Daniels, Daniels just noticed what he's looking up at. Doesn't want any part of it, I don't blame him, Joe. Daniels gonna go to the safe side to try to fight this off. What is going on oh, here? No. All these men perched high atop Turner's Hall. Double suplex, Dragon and Daniels delivered it perfectly to double C and the champion may be done for. Did you hear that impact on the ring as all three men came crashing down? Unbelievable. Referee Bobby Potter laying a three, three man 10 count on him. But keep in mind, precious minutes are ticking away from the clock. This matchup will go 30 minutes. And right now two men are tied for the honor of leadership in this match. Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels, the odd man out here as far as pinfall victories go in this matchup. That's right, the pressure is on Daniels more so than anybody else in this contest. As him and J Dragon exchange forms, not again. No, Daniels drops down. Daniels encounters, traps the, la traps the arms, excuse me. Another reversal. Back and forth with pinfalls, but both men continually escape. Big close hide there by Christopher Daniels. Fallen Angel sends the dragon into the buckle, but Claudio pops right back to his feet and takes both men down. Newfound life from the champion. Claudio Bucking a shot by Daniels. Claudio connects with another hard clothesline, and just like that double C is cooking, he can win this match yet. Torture rack again. Gonna drop him down. He says that's all, two, he got a pin already. No, Daniels interrupts. Chris Daniels just saved his own bacon there with that pinfall breakup because he knew he would be behind two to nothing. 
to our champion, 25 minutes gone. Five minutes remain. And it's crunch time. It's fourth and goal here for all three of these men to pull something out. Daniel standing here in Nagi. Can go for one more time. Double spring. Best mood salt ever. Connects on Claudio. Didn't get all of it. Cover to no. Two and three quarters. Claudio Castagnoli narrowly escaped there. Tremendous maneuver there by the fallen angel. Daniels going for angel's wings, but check out American Dragon back up. American Dragon, Brian Danielson just took the head off of Chris Daniels practically with that clothesline. Can Claudio hang on to the tie for four some odd minutes? If he does, one would think he would retain the championship. Dragon suplex, beautiful bridge by the Dragon. Claudio interrupts just in the nick of time. Claudio Castagnoli for a moment there saw that title belt of his slipping away and wisely made the save. Another hard uppercut shot. Whip and reversal, Claudio catches himself on the second rope. Check this out, high risk. Daniels had caught him, bending him right in, and now going for cattle mutilation one more time. Oh, Bridge no. is over, he's stretching away at those shoulders, stretching away at the arms. Will Claudio tap out? If he taps out, he may tap away the CAPW title. He cannot tap out right here, Joe. We can't have someone from, from Ring of Honor winning our belt. Wait, Angel Wigs, Daniels with the Angel's Wigs, cover two. Daniels evens it off. Score winning fall number one for Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. The match is now a three-way tie at one fall apiece. Now with just precious moments to go, can anybody, can three anybody. Three minutes to go, three minutes. Get the decisive advantage. Claudio all up now too. Another cover. The pinfalls become urgent at this point. It's almost like sudden death. Any pinfall will more than likely be the last of this contest. Inside Cradle by Claudio. Daniels reverses the weight. Both men jockeying for leverage. Back and forth. No one shoulders down long enough to count. Bobby Potter couldn't even make the one count Who know? There. Claudio almost pinned. You suck! Everybody in this match within a heartbeat of winning that CAPW championship. Airplane spin by Danielson. Check that out. Look at this. Look at the maneuver here by the American Dragon, spinning for what would seem like hours. With a similar effect of the delayed suplex earlier. It's going to discombobulate Christopher Daniels. He won't know where he is. And that leaves him more susceptible to a pinning attempt. But what damage did it do on Danielson? Obviously a lot. Pinfall. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Brian Danielson almost spun himself into oblivion with that one. He's. He's out of it on the floor. And Danielson needs to catch his own balance here. This is Claudio's opportunity right here. Daniels has to be dazed from that airplane spin that went on for minutes. Claudio in the Fallen Angel center ring. Rico, though. Daniels counters that attempt of a, at a finish. But Claudio turns things back around. Daniels escapes once more. Daniels is still dizzy from that airplane spin. Claudio needs to capitalize right now. No doubt, but look how much has been taken out of all three of these men in the past 28, 29 minutes. They barely have anything left. They've given of their heart and souls in this matchup. Covered by Claudio. Daniels breaks it up. Daniels with a kick there to break up the pin. One minute to go, one minute. On oh, Stewart die now. Another cover tip by Daniels. Innovative roll up there by Christopher Daniels. It's still only a two count. It's champion Claudio Castagnoli. It's challenge with American Dragon and Christopher Daniels. Daniels, blue thunder bomb. Staple of his offense, three no. Kick out and a Claudio interruption prevents Daniels from capturing CAPW gold. Joe Dombrowski, this late in the game, you got to figure if any of these men seconds. can capture a decision here in 30 seconds. I'm going to walk away. The champ. Claudio's got to stay defensive. Got to stay defensive. Roll through. Daniels covered. Has him trapped. Claudio gets the Score second ball. Score winning ball number two for Claudio Castagnoli. Claudio's in the lead. Two, one, Ten one. seconds. Nine. All he needs to eight, do is keep him getting pinned. Seven, All he's got to do is keep him five, getting pinned. Four, Danielson, three, one, last two, attempt. 
Max One. Suplex, cover attempt, but no time left. This matchup is over. Claudio retains the title. Tremendous victory for our champion, Claudio Castagnoli. We have reached the allotted 30 minute time limit. At the end of 30 minutes to score, Claudio Castagnoli, two falls. Christopher Daniels, one fall. Brian Danielson, one fall. Winner and still, Cleveland All Pro Wrestling, heavyweight champion, Claudio Castagnoli. What a hell of a match. A true classic to go down in the annals of CAPW history. The fallen angel Christopher Daniels, American Dragon Brian Danielson, double C Claudio Castagnoli, three of the very, very best you'll find anywhere. But tonight the best man was double C. That's right, double C. The Cleveland All Pro Wrestling Champion retains his belt. This was a tremendous matchup. My hat goes off to all three of these men. It was a great bout. But in the end, the champion Claudio Castagnoli retains the belt. You gotta give it up and show respect to all three of these individuals for a matchup that will be remembered and talked about for many years to come. And we see a show of respect from the Ring of Honor champion, even though he's not happy about losing. What a hell of a battle, but there's the man right there, Claudio Castagnoli, CAPW, heavyweight champion. What a hell of a ride. We'll see you again next week for Jamie Scott and Joe Dombrowski. So long from Sports Time Ohio and CAPW TV.